a hypopycnal flow is when a fluid that is less dense enters a standing body of water that is more dense. In this demonstration, the less dense fluid is represented by the red fluid. This demonstration was performed by taking warm water, adding a red dye, and pouring it slowly into a fluid that is colder and with a little salt. What you will note is that the hypopycnal flow, the less dense flow, slowly floats across the top of the tank. This is exactly what will happen in a river that enters the ocean in which the river water is less dense than the ocean water even with sediment. This hypopycnal flow will carry sediment out miles out to sea and the sediment will slowly settle through the water column. A hyperpycnal flow is one in which the, the fluid that is entering the standing body of water is denser than the standing body of water. In this demonstration, the hyperpycnal flow is blue. This fluid was created by adding salt to water and cooling it off with ice cubes. What you see is Here's a demonstration in which we start by pouring a hypopycnal flow, a less dense flow, into a tank of water. And you can watch as it sails across the top. In addition, we can add the hyperpycnal flow to the same tank of water. Note that as the hyperpycnal flow moves down the ramp, it displaces the fluid above it. So you know not only does the hyperpycnal flow move down, but the hyperpycnal flow, the material above it, is also displaced. As this video continues to play, you can see that over time and space, this hyperpycnal flow continues to displace the overlying fluid. It continues doing so even after it, hits, it has hit the back end of the tank, pulls up, and physically forces up the material, the fluid above it, thus deforming the, that upper layer of the hypopycnal flow.